Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the EGM Securities Update. It's been quite a busy week. I've got Lawrence with me here. Lawrence, what are you going to tell us today? Today we're going to look at the you know, financial markets. We can start off with the calendar today, kind of what we're looking at. But today we're only seeing you know, retail sales from, uh, from Canada and core retail sales uh, from also from Canada again. So that's kind of like the, the most important news, high impact news, as you can see, it's in red. Mm. Uh, slight thing about Canada is this. So the, the Canadian Central Bank follows a lot, uh, follows a lot what you know, the Fed does, and the Fed is kind of looking to push up the, the interest rates. So maybe we might see also a kind of a, like an interest rate hike in Canada, but that is kind of just a, a speculation, depending on history. So now we can look at the markets now. Yes, so yes. that is just what we are looking at today. And also, by the way, we have you know, Brexit news out. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, you know, Theresa May's uh, checkers plan kind of didn't, didn't go through. Yes. Uh, the guys in the EU are like, you know, uh, you need to soften up your stance on the Irish border, but more on that later. But this is the S&P 500. This is the S&P 500. So it's at an all-time high. Let's look at the US 30 also. All-time high. So we've got basically a broad-based uh, exactly. move in it's the a, US. It's a, it's a very bullish move. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a very bullish move. move. And we have a lot of sentiment, obviously, for American equities. So reason being is that you know the the U.S. China you know, trade standoff is kind of you know subsiding. Mm. So investors were looking for a very you know very harsh conditions for 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 the for the trade uh, for the trade war. But apparently, it's not going to be that way because you know Trump mostly U.S. is kind of you know taking their time with it. But I think it's because you know Trump wants to have more ammunition in the future if it gets to that part. Uh, but obviously now because of that, now investors are now back to their bullish trend. I think it's a very, very high market. The last time we had this market sentiment was just before the 2000, 2008 market crash. So I think you know, some investors are a bit you know, skeptic, skeptical in terms of you know, the market. Because I market. saw an interesting thing on Bloomberg, which was saying smart money, they have some smart money index, has not chased this rally. This yeah. has been you know, independent of, of that kind of money flow. Yeah, true. I think what is happening right now in the market is that there's not much in terms of diversification. You can put your money in emerging markets because you know what is happening in emerging markets, but you still want a return. So what do you do? Put it in American uh, equities. It's kind of like a safe haven. Safe haven. Yeah. There's nothing else you can do with your money right now at this point. Yeah. So you either put it in equities or you kind of just leave it there. And you know, if, if, it's, if, if it's in euros, it might mm. be attracting negative, negative return. Mm. So the only place to go is you know, American equities. The trade war thing is, is, is off the table, maybe. Mm. So this is why you see this, this move happening here. The sterling yesterday had a you know, very good rally. This was after very positive you know, retail sales. Mm. So it was up 0.3%, but economists were kind of suspected it's going to be you know, kind of declined by 0.2%. So this propped up the, the so pound. So it was a big, big, big hit. Yeah, it, was a big, yeah. it was a big prop for the, for yeah. the pound. Also, this was after, after you know, they have had several weeks of very strong, you know, very solid economic data, you know, GDP, unemployment, and construction claims. Right. So if you put those things together, kind of you know, made this happen. So you can see the market has been on an uptrend, but as I say, it's kind of just shot up. But then again, now it's kind of retracing, mostly because of Brexit fears, and also it's, it's on Friday. It was interesting because the body language from that Salzburg summit, yeah. Theresa May was by herself, but yet the market is looking through that kind of thing at the exactly, moment. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So the EU leaders, were, they're not saying that they are having a, a hard stance on Brexit. They're just saying, okay, maybe we, look, we need to, re, to revisit some things before we have a, mm. have a Brexit. And also Theresa May, is, you know, she was all around saying, you know what, I'm ready for, for a no-deal Brexit. Yeah. Finally, Euro-dollar? So it's still very bullish also. Mm. I'm assuming also because of, you know, very, they, they have very good economic data. But for the Euro-dollar, I'm kind of trying to look at, you know, Italy and yeah. kind of you know, kind of see what is going to happen in terms of their politics. And also remember that uh, Brexit is also affecting, you know, the euro also, because it's eurozone and all that, yeah. But that was a big move yesterday. It was a big move yesterday. Nearly a whole figure. Yeah. 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 And do you think this continues? Not really. No. I don't think so. Against the dollar, yes, but not yes. against the pound. Okay. I think I st I'm still very, very bullish for the pound. So you really should be selling euro sterling? Yeah. But mostly people don't kind of trade that no. way. They kind of look at it euro dollar and pound dollar, and then just the, 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 the euro sterling is just for correlation in terms of knowing what do I buy here and what do I sell here. Thank you very much. Okay, awesome. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you.